In this video, we are going to talk about the fundamental reasons behind the massive price surge of the BNB token or the Binance coin. This is what we're going to talk about in this video and I think it will give you also an investment opportunity because what we're going to talk about is not like just the exchange volumes. We're going to talk about much more than that. Why this Binance ecosystem is growing at a very rapid pace and especially the Binance smart chain ecosystem is currently growing so quickly and that is also the main reason behind why the BNB token is going up so hard outperforming most of the 60 large caps that we currently have in the crypto space so Binance coin one of the best performers since the beginning of 2021 and we're going to talk about why this is happening so I think it will be very interesting guys so make sure to stick around Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. My name is Quinton and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe by clicking that subscribe button down below and please help me get towards 100,000 subscribers. I hope we will hit that next month, then we will do something very cool here on the channel. Also, while you're at it, make sure to hit that like button if you think it was a cool video. Before we dive into the video, I want to mention something and that is that in my book that I wrote, it's only in Dutch for now, now, so it's only relevant for the Dutch speaking people. In my book, I often talk or I give this example several times that Binance, in my opinion, is basically the best example of like um, building an ecosystem in the crypto industry because they have like a cash flow which other projects don't have. With this, with this cash, they are acquiring um, all big players in like different fields of crypto and this way they are creating some kind of monopoly and that is also the reason why right now Binance coin is exploding not only because they are having like a great exchange but they're doing so much other things that are getting traction right now so I give this example several times in my book of like a good example of building an ecosystem for the token a good usage for the token as well so if you're Dutch speaking make sure to grab yourself a copy of the book there are links in the description down below as well as the pinned post here on the video as well as the pinned post in the comment section down below all right let's first have a look here at CoinGecko to check out some numbers because CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, normally we use CoinGecko, but they both have like different stats. So let's have a look here first at CoinGecko. So Binance Coin here is listed as the sixth biggest cryptocurrency in the world with a market cap of 28 billion. You can see that it flipped um, XRP as well and that it went up a massive 43% in the last 24 hours. It took a week off last week to cool down a little bit, but right now it is just continuing its search now on on coin market cap on the other hand binance coin is ranked fourth so it is the fourth biggest cryptocurrency with a market cap of 29.3 billion dollars i don't know what are like the real statistics um these uh, market caps they differ a little bit from uh, coin gecko to uh, coin market cap um but yeah anyway um you can see that binance coin is doing extremely well um, in any case and it is currently ranked sixth or fourth depends strongly on which website you are using to check out these statistics now before we dive into like the rabbit hole of why bnb um, is going up so hard I just want to give you some exchange statistics and also some statistics about the BNB token itself because it has a deflationary model. It does a BNB coin burn every quarter and every quarter a part of all the fees that are paid in BNB tokens a, a part of that is getting burnt and uh, just a few uh, days ago they announced their 14th BNB burn and this was a record uh, in terms of BNB that was burned, but also especially in USD value that was burned. So the BNB that was burned, 3.6 million uh, BNB was burned. That's a total of 1.8% of the total supply that is currently um, in circulation still. And the USD value especially is really crazy. Um, 
it has broken the previous record by 100 million dollars so 165 million dollars worth of bnb was burned and the last record was 68 million that was burned so you can see a massive difference there this can also gives you an indication of like uh, how much profits Binance is making and you need to know about that Binance is reinvesting all these profits back into the crypto industry by acquiring other companies in other fields because of course Binance is an exchange but they also acquired for example swipe to get like a crypto card or um, trust wallet uh, to have like a good uh, software wallet and also they acquired coin market cap like the most popular crypto website in the world um, I mean like all these things they are doing to build their ecosystem to increase like the popularity of Binance of course and the BNB token as well. So a cash flow in the industry don't underestimate the power of that. I talked about that in the last several years and this is something that I said even a few years ago. Don't underestimate the power of cash flow. What you can do with cash you can really build a monopoly and that is the major advantage of Binance over other uh, let's say big players in the crypto industry because they have like a massive amount of profit every single quarter and with that they can do a lot of stuff they can build also uh, incubation funds to like incubate projects uh, they can um, invest in projects or even acquire projects etc they doing a lot of stuff with these funds but this way they are building like a massive massive ecosystem so in my opinion binance is currently the biggest player in the in the crypto space in the crypto world and this is not going to change anytime soon in my opinion there is no project that is even coming close to binance now let's have a look at some exchange statistics because this is only one part of the binance uh, coin ecosystem let's say but the exchanges if we have a look to the spot volumes this is only spot trading we see that binance is by far number one so binance has a volume of 26.6 .6 billion in the last 24 hours uh, and the second biggest exchange with this, which is yobi has like a volume of 6.5 billion only so uh, Binance by far uh, the biggest one in terms of spot uh, volume now if we have a look to the derivatives volumes this is pretty similar but um, they're like not so much um, ahead of like the competition here uh, but still number one so Binance in terms of derivatives volumes uh, well 35.1 billion in the last 24 hours will be again second here in this list 23 billion more or less now if we have a look at the third one the third uh, volume indicator is decentralized exchanges Venus is a project that is built on Binance smart chain so this can already gives you an indication where I'm going right now well it is built on Binance smart chain and is by far the biggest one it is not like a real exchange it's more like an aggregator etc well but Uniswap has a volume of 1.1 billion then we have PancakeSwap and PancakeSwap is only 15% away from overtaking Uniswap. The big problem with Uniswap right now, it is of course built on Ethereum. Uh, you need to pay your fees in Ether. And I mean, it is not for everyone. The fees currently are, are well above $100 per transaction. That is not reasonable for everyone. While PancakeSwap is gaining a lot of popularity and you need to look at this increase. In the last 24 hours alone, PancakeSwap has an had an increase of like its volume with 69% nearly. So I think uh, tomorrow, PancakeSwap will overtake Uniswap. I mean, like the trend is very clear. It will overtake Uniswap. And the reason is that PancakeSwap is also built on Binance Smart Chain. And on Binance Smart Chain, the fees are very low. So for a transaction on PancakeSwap, you pay like, what, 70 cents of a dollar? I mean, like, that is nothing compared to over $100 that you need to pay with it for a transaction on Uniswap. So it makes sense. PancakeSwap is getting a lot of traction. Binance Smart Chain, in general, is getting a lot of traction. So Binance has like Binance Chain and Binance Smart Chain. And Binance Smart Chain has also like smart contracts, etc. And this is getting a lot of traction. 
even though it only exists for like half a year, we see that the traction is really beginning for Binance Smart Chain and also developers, etc. they really start to see this. So I'm really curious to see where this is going. Now, uh, to have a look at PancakeSwap in particular, uh, look at the price difference of PancakeSwap. I mean, like just the 9th of January, um, the price of one token was only 58 cents of a dollar. Right now, it's already at $11.56. That means that it went times 20 in just like a month and two weeks one and a half months that is also an insane increase um, but it's getting a lot of traction as you can see here in the volumes uh, the statistics from from the volumes is getting a lot of traction everyone's using it right now for the low fees etc so major thing as well and this is also a tip that i want to give you guys uh, because pancake swap for example is something that is built on Binance Smart Chain. And I think this can become a new thing in the crypto space. The projects that are launching on Binance Smart Chain, keep an eye on these ones. Uh, this is a real tip that I can give you guys because I think it will get a lot of hype right now um, to see like new projects going towards Binance Smart Chain. Uh, we see like announcements coming out every single day from new projects launching on Binance Smart Chain. This is getting a lot of traction again, guys. Uh, keep an eye on these projects because there, are, they, there can be like real unicorns between these newly launched uh, projects on Binance Smart Chain. So this is a good tip that I can give you. Anyway, some more statistics about Binance Smart Chain. Uh, here is like the how do you call this color, color like green? Let's say just green. Uh, here are the amount of addresses uh, here on, for example, the 20th of September. Um, we see that there were only 2.76 um, thousand um, addresses, active addresses every day on Binance Smart Chain. Well, right now this is going up dramatically and currently this is uh, around 26,000 every single day and these are statistics from like a few weeks ago while the real traction only started um yeah at this very moment so i think it is already a lot higher but i don't find like more recent statistics um i think it is ready to overtake ethereum at this very moment i think it is already getting very close to the amount of active uh, ethereum wallets every single day so keep an eye on that as well um, here another interesting statistic um, the transaction volume on binance smart chain again these are statistics from the 7th of february so that's 10 days ago uh, you see this going parabolic i think right now we are well above like probably 20 billion or something if this trend is continuing uh, but you can see like 20 billion um, transaction volume every single day i mean like if we just look to the beginning of um of january the beginning of this year this was nearly nothing this was like like what 100 million i mean it's going totally insane since the beginning of this year and the real parabolic move started in the beginning of january in the beginning of february sorry as you can see right here so yeah you can see that it's getting a massive amount of traction lately and this is especially because everyone is so tired of the high fees and the slow transaction times on ethereum so um everyone is trying some other stuff i mean like we're also seeing like the increase in layer 2 uh, usage on ethereum such as for example polygon previously matic uh, we see the total value lock there also doubling every few days um well the same thing is happening on binance smart chain so finally people are also looking into other blockchains because they are tired of waiting because they're tired of what is happening on Ethereum. So yeah, huge things happening and also they're building a bridge to Polkadot. Uh, of course, this is an operable, interoperable uh, blockchain, of course, interoperable ecosystem. So very cool to see this happening as well. This can even give Binance Smart Chain um, even more traction. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the Binance chart. This is also a chart of pure beauty. Got launched right here at the end of 2017. Um, like it was at back then, it was like $1 and a bit. Right now, it's like $190. It even hit nearly $200 earlier today. But look at this massive price increase in the last few weeks. So if we're going to measure this, uh, let's take the measure tool right here. So price um, and just since the end of January until right now, it had an increase of 350%. That means times four and a half in just 
two weeks and a bit so that is insane look at this chart um it looks like it just wants to go straight to one thousand dollars i don't think that will happen but um I think the rest of the year can look very great, especially if you believe in uh, the trend is your friend. Well, I think it is showing us that we need to keep an eye on Binance Smart Chain project, on Binance Smart Chain usage as well, and the rest of the Binance ecosystem too, because right now, I mean, like we're a lot focused on the Binance Smart Chain, but also the exchange will keep on growing, the profits will keep on growing, they will do more acquisitions, they will go towards other um things in the crypto space etc so yeah this is this is very big for binance and i do believe that we will see a massive price increase still this year especially if this is going to continue like this i wouldn't be surprised if we would see like a binance um binance coin price of around 700 dollars um in just a few months or by the end of the year let's say i think this is like probable um, especially given like the traction that we're seeing right now with the different Binance projects. Um, so yeah, this is what I think will happen. This is not like a real price prediction, uh, guys. Uh, I just wanted to talk more about like where we can go to. And normally I base some of my predictions on like the Fibonacci extensions. But uh, look at this. If we take like the last big move up and down, we already passed the last Fibonacci extension level. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean like it's going crazy right now and there's not a lot that we can base our predictions on so uh, yeah I think it will keep on going this year um, and especially given the current market cap if you compare it to Ethereum which has a market cap of 216 billion uh, while Binance Chain currently has a market cap of 28 uh, billion so that is still a times eight to get towards the ethereum uh, market cap i don't think that will happen anytime soon but i think it would be reasonable to go towards like half the valuation of ethereum and also of course ethereum will go up in price so it isn't unthinkable to me that we do another times five let's say in uh, in the binance coin price this year uh, that would give us a price of like like 800 dollars or something uh, per binance coin token i think that is very reasonable i think this is possible that we get there if of course the trend is continuing like this especially in binance smart chain usage all right guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if so please give the thumbs up and if you're new to the channel make sure to be subscribed by clicking the subscribe button down below and i see you next video cheers bye bye